allow me to paint you a picture. Last night, I go to bed to have a nap before I got up to watch the Melbourne Victory game. All is good, all is well. I actually managed to fall asleep eventually, which at one point I didn't think I was going to do. But I had set an alarm for 12.30-ish. The appropriate time to wake up to watch the game. The alarm goes off. And then it happened. Again. Through the walls, I could hear the sounds of a woman moaning. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening to me. Um, from everyone I've told, it seems to be kind of isolated to me. And no, I'm not a pervert. I am not seeking this out. I wish this would stop. But I keep hearing people having sex. <laughs> I'm going to put the point of origin in Munich, where my retinas were scarred for life. It was Oktoberfest, and obviously two people got completely plastered and decided to have sex in a 40-person dorm. Not just in the dorm, but in the bed directly ahead of mine. So, it started off with just hearing it and going, no, this isn't happening. No, 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 no. The one positive from all that was that their dirty talk was hilariously bad and they were insistent on doing it. But I made the mistake of looking up and I saw, ugh, far too much, far, 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 far too much. So from that point, I seem to have overheard housemates, roommates, random people in the hotel room next to mine. Like, seriously, this is, <laughs> if it weren't so funny, I'd be crying. Anyway, on to the game. Wow. Um... I've said it before, and I will undoubtedly say it again, football is a fickle, fickle beast. And a cruel, cruel mistress. Melbourne Victory should have won last night. They had Central Coast completely outplayed. They just couldn't seem to finish the many opportunities that they had. Which is unfortunate, because th they really did deserve the three points. But... That's the way of it. There's some days like today when I start talking and I forget what I have and haven't said. And I, I refer to these as rambles, but it's so much closer to the truth than I care to admit. That ludicrous way of making coffee that I uploaded um, whenever it was, days, weeks ago, whatever, that's actually something I persisted to do until I finished the canister, which was this morning. Um, I, don't, I don't recall how full the canister was, if it was halfway or even more than that, but there was a fair bit of coffee in there. And, yeah. That's ridiculous. So, today's the penultimate day. I am going to start my day by knuckling under and packing those bags, then I'm probably going to take advantage of the fact that I have another day in downtown. Um, not the best weather today. Um, the overcast. and might even be drizzling, it's hard to say. But yeah, I'm going to go to the comic book stores and wherever my heart takes me and where however far my knee will carry me because yes it is sore there's it feels like there's bruising under the kneecap it's it's not something that a runner wants but i'm going to take care of that and then um let the folks in vegas know that i'm coming or when specifically i'm coming and um yeah, I'm kind of... I can't overstate how much I'm going to miss living here. Um, 
this is this position where I'm where I've been recording these vlogs. I've concluded is probably the ideal space to do pretty much all of my YouTube videos. Um, it's it's just long enough to give some depth of field with my uh, DSLR and it's there's enough space that I can actually do activities in front of the camera without you know having to readjust or move to a completely different room. So ideal ideally that's I mean where I was set up it was a completely different camera so but where I was set up when I first started making videos was um, the wall probably ended this far away from where the camera was so there wasn't really to get into any position there wasn't really much room but it, I think part of it's also that it does the shots do remind me a lot of Wheezy Waiter in his previous two apartments not the early one but the previous two um but yeah, that's uh, so. Ideally, I need to bear and try to bear in mind in the future that wherever I have a study or a workspace needs to be this long, <laughs> which I don't see that happening um, for a while. I would like to have an office. I w I would very much like to wherever it is that I settle. I would like to be able to rent out an office space and uh, do whatever it is that I want to do from there, be it illustration or filmmaking or um, a retail thing. Okay, so I'm rambling on quite enough now. I think that's probably enough to get a whole vlog up. Yay! Um, that said, I uh, just don't want to add, because I'm going to forget otherwise, that there's very few things that I still have left to do in Vancouver. And one of them, I just realized, is being stuffed up by the weather. I was going to go out to the um, Vancouver lookout. Um, just because it's it, I didn't do it last time, and pretty much everywhere I've been... I've gone to the highest tower, the viewing points. And I haven't done that in Vancouver, so I think I'm going to go... If the weather clears up today, I'll go do it today. If not, I'll try to duck down in the morning. Then again, I think I'm going to try... And, at some point in the next few days before I leave, I'm going to make a point of coming back into Vancouver itself. Um because I'd like to go ice skating and the Robson Square ice rink opens up I think the day after tomorrow once I've left I'd have to check that might be a couple of days after but that's I, I want to go ice skating here not back in Australia I mean such a hassle to get out to the um, rink the rink in Melbourne. Definitely have mixed feelings about the choices that I've made. It's up to you how we play this game. If you ask me.